Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey there, I'm Sean Sager, and I have your word for the day. Uh, Today we'll be in 1 Peter 1, verses 22 through 25. Uh, Hey, but I have a question for you. Have you ever seen what happens when you put diesel in a gas car? Or vice versa? Yeah, I'm sure uh, you know that those two fuels are not meant to be in the same vehicles. In fact, uh, if you put the wrong fuel in your car, it will stop running completely. You'll need to bring it in and get it worked on because it will not do what you want it to do. Uh, or you'll kill your engine either way. Uh, I think that that's what happens when Christians take this new life, this new vehicle that God has given us, and put the wrong fuel inside of it. And I think that this passage today also highlights that. So if you have your scripture uh, opened up to First Peter, why don't you read along with me? Uh, verse 22. You were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth, so now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with your whole heart. And verse 23, For you have been born again, but not to a life that will quickly end. Your new life will last forever because it comes from the eternal living word of God. Let's take a break there. You see, a Christian, when they fuel their life with the wrong thing, ends up doing the wrong thing. But God clearly says here that we've been given a new life, a new body. Uh, uh, We've been cleansed of our sins. We've been made to be something different. And so we can no longer fuel our lives with the things that we used to fuel our lives with. Uh, He'll go on to say this in verse 24. As the scriptures say, people are like grass. Their beauty is like a flower in the field. The grass withers and the flowers fade. But the word of the Lord remains forever. And that word is the good news that was preached to you. You see, I believe that Christians try to fill their lives sometimes with with what they used to, their status, their money, their finances, their their cars, their toys, how big of a house they can get, all these things. They've tried to fuel their lives with these things, even music, even even movie taste, all these things. Uh, When we try to fuel our lives with these old things, again, we we end up killing our engines. We end up killing the goal that God has for us, which Peter makes very clear in verse 22. That goal is to love each other deeply with all your heart. And so, Christians, if if you find yourself uh, with this new vehicle, this new body, Uh, doing the things you're not supposed to be doing, as in you're not loving the person next to you, you're not more forgiving, you're not more kind, you're not uh, uh, serving the people around you as much as you possibly can. Uh, If you don't find yourself on that path of life, then, then it's safe to say that you're fueling yourself with what you used to fuel yourself with, the old self, the things like the flowers in the field that are withering away, the things of this world that, that are temporary, uh, but, but they seem filling in the moment. Um, But God tells us very clearly that the thing that we need to fill our lives with now is Jesus. And it's the good news. And it's the thing that saved us. You see, if you find yourself in love with the gospel, in love with the the scriptures, in love with with, uh, his community, the church, in love with uh, uh, the people around you who are also in love with God, then then you're going to find yourself fulfilling all the purpose that God has for you. And this faith that you have will not be mute, it will not be dead, it will not be, as James says, uh, uh, dead faith. Instead, it will be a living and active faith fueled by the things of eternity, the things that God has that will last forever, such as the gospel of Jesus Christ, such as his church, such as how we treat each other. So just remember, church, if, you, if you're having a hard time loving the people around you, then my only, my only recommendation to you is this, is sit down and pray with Jesus and have him search your heart to remove these things. And some of you know what these things are. You know what sort of financial things you're putting your hope in. You know what sort of uh, toys you're putting your hope in. But the truth is, is if you give those things to Jesus, the Bible also tells us in 1 John that he is good and righteous to cleanse us of those things so we can continue living the life that he has really called us to and the purpose that he's really given us. Church, I love you. We'll talk to you later, Calvary. Have a good one.